you put your money towards it as a prized possession. When you lose your wedding ring, you freak out, right? It turns into a form of idolatry. You look to your ring, and once it goes missing, you freak out because you know the the worth of it. And then some people say, "Oh, it's a sentimental value," but、uh, look into that. It's the admire,、um, you know, extreme admiring love, reverence for something or someone. That's the definition of idolatry. So you do it unknowingly, and that's like the thing that、uh, that means we all need to repent, you know, on this. We do it unknowingly. Electronics. I don't know about you, but if I ever、uh, misplace my phone, sometimes I freak out, and that's a wake up call. Why? <laughs> Because you look to your phone, and you lo- when you lose it, you look at it as like oh, it has all my information on it. It has um, you know, it has everything on it, and it has your livelihood, right? Again, a form of vital trait, and you don't even realize you're doing it. Your cars, you know that verse. <laughs> You trust in your cars to get you to point A to point B without even thinking about it. You say, "Oh, I'm not worshiping," but you're trusting your vehicle. You're trusting your vehicle. There's a、um, a scripture, and、uh, try to find it. I wrote it down. Here it is. Some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but.、Um, We trust in the name of the Lord our God. You see, some trust in the,、uh, chariots and some trust in horses. And this is in the Bible times. These were transportation to get them from point A to point B. And today we take vehicles that are not like chariots and horses. You know, they are metal made by hands, and、uh, that's a form of Worship and idolatry. I know this is a lot to take in, but it's good. It's good to take it in because this is what it is to be humble. You deny yourself before the Lord and say, "Oh Lord, wow, look where we're living. We are definitely living in your glory days, not ours. And、uh, we repent and we want to turn from this and show us how, because we live in a wicked generation." And it's very true. We live in a wicked generation where it's all about me. If you look at the commercials, treat yourself. You do. You work so hard. Treat yourself. Kick up your feet. Go do the spa for yourself. 